in this video I want to do a quite free talk about the so-called Q, the quality factor of coils. The quality factor is surely um, uh, there. It can be computed, absolutely sure, um, and especially when it is relied to a certain peak that a coil can give. And then I mean a peak on a certain resonance. And this is kind of demo circuit at the moment. We'll try to tell more about it. Um, you can buy on the World Wide Web all kinds of coils via Ali or so uh, coils like here. These are also uh, coils with a certain inductance, but they are tiny and you can surely read, read out uh, their value in terms of micro Henry's. Well, uh, this is a magnetic <laughs> screwdriver, that was not the idea, but anyway, um, you can read out the inductance. But do these coils, for instance, uh, have a good quality factor and can they be uh, compared to a coil that is made in this way, here, for instance. And in this case we have a, a winding, we, we have a ferrite rod that can be sticked in and out and of course here. There are also, perhaps, I don't know that for sure, that depends of course completely on the way that the coil was made. Uh, perhaps there is a tiny ferrite uh, uh, rod here where that coil uh, is wound it over, etc. Et uh, I have to break it up. I don't do that at the moment anyway. Um, the whole idea is again about the quality factor. And like I told in the first stage of this video, uh, the quality factor is say a figure that can be calculated. And there are many say calculations on YouTube and perhaps study the radio theory etc etc to find out what that means, the quality factor. But in practice uh, we can also say, tell some things about it. The practice is that it, there is a kind of high resonance on a certain frequency where the call works at its best. And say, I don't want to intermediate um, peak resonance with the quality factor, but in general there is a kind of relation between the quality of a coil and how good such a coil can generate or receive uh, a certain frequency. And I want to demonstrate that here. This is a circuit that I published earlier here. Uh, and this is my test coil, 370 windings, and I will stick the ferrite rod into it. Uh, we are now on 211 kilohertz. This is a waveform of the oscillator, and when I stick it in, we surely see that the frequency will change. Stick it in now to a lower frequency, etc. So we are now on 84 kilohertz. Uh, is there a certain position where the coil windings and the ferrite rod have their uh, best quality and, the, and then I mean have their best resonance? 
in this case, perhaps that's not the case. Anyway, the frequency goes down, but the amplitude at the same time uh, drops a little bit. Anyway, so when we on the contrary look at a kind of Tesla coil, and when you are a little bit acquainted with Tesla coils, you know that, that the resonance inside the Tesla coil is used to say drive up the voltage to its absolute maximum. Is that the case here? Well, I don't know. But we can surely see that and understand that with a, a Tesla coil that works on its resonance frequency, the quality factor must be very high. And that's also the reason why uh, when you want to make a Tesla coil in a not proper way, it will fail. Anyway, let's say a kind of uh, way of uh, talking about peak resonance and uh, quality, the quality factor. And again, here are these cheap uh, inductance coils in the millihenry and microhenry range. The AC resistance of a coil is very important to know the, the, the formula. So the AC resistance depends for a big part on the frequency. So here in that uh, uh, formula we can see P, uh, the frequency and etc etc and it's very easy to calculate in this way the say AC, AC resistance of coil. Here is the formula. Uh, these values are very big by the way. Hertz and Henry, normally we are in radio technology talking about micro Henry, milli Henry, etc. etc. But anyway, this is the valid uh, uh, formula, and it means that, for instance, a coil of 10 Henry that is a kind of choke coil, by the way, uh, at a frequency of 50 Hertz is 3140. Ohms. So that's a lot, and I mean that also that only refers to the AC resistance, and that's the reason why you can use such a coil as a choke coil. Certain frequencies cannot pass through a choke coil, and that's the reason why you often see them in very, very old school. Uh, radio circuits of the 1920s etc when such a choke coil is in the uh, anode lead. Anyway, uh, well this was all told. Uh, choke coils, oscillator coils, quality factor etc etc. Thanks for watching by the way and like I told I cannot stress that enough. When you want to study this uh, subject, this issue, uh, in a much better way than I can uh, explain it now, go to the World Wide Web, study the quality factor, go to, say, uh, radio technology websites, etc. etc. So, back to the circuit, the demo circuit again. Uh, well, there's not so much more to tell about it. I will say take the, the ferrite rod out. It's now on 210 uh, kilohertz. Well, let's see what happens when we stick that rod in. Of course, we go to lower frequencies according to the radio theory, but anyway. Uh, stick it in again and now we go to these low frequencies well I think and that's my ID only my ID we are now on 84 kilohertz by the way 
uh, I think it could be to make a coil with a higher peak resonance on that specific frequency. Say 84 kilohertz or whatever, uh, 200 kilohertz in this case with this oscillator. So, well, that's the kind of ID talking about the quality factor of coils. And we know, of course, that there are coils that are specifically made for lower frequencies and also for higher frequencies, say uh, in the order of 10 megahertz, etc. Uh, etc. Et but uh, in practice, when you want to make a high quality coil with a high quality factor in the short wave range, uh, the coil has to be made in a specific way. And there are many videos on my YouTube channel where I have showed how to make a high quality uh, with a high quality factor antenna coil. And strange to say, often that's made with a well varnished toilet roll with say approximately 10 or 12 windings and in that case you can go, you can use it as a high quality coil with a good quality factor paralleled with a capacitor in the order of uh, 20 picofarad to um, 150 picofarad. Use as an antenna call. And I want to refer to many other circuits on my YouTube channel. Anyway, here many other calls that I've made, that I've tested, especially for the long wave project. That why uh, with which I was working during the past months and when you have followed my channel you will surely know it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, here is the oscillator. I will give the link to the oscillator. Stick in that ferret rod again. See what happens. So you can surely see that the frequency changes and like I told Perhaps there's a. Uh, it's possible to make a coil on this frequency, 87 uh, kilohertz, that has a much higher quality factor. And well, I want to refer to other coils. They are here. Uh, for instance, for instance, this coil is out of an old VHS. A video recorder and when you connect it to this oscillator here here it will surely oscillate and I'm absolutely sure that this coil uh, made for that VHS uh, video recorder has an enormous high quality because uh, it has uh, it had to uh, induce say sound and video this is perhaps yes this is the sound uh, the sound uh, uh, core coil uh, it had to induce sound into that magnetic band so this must surely be a coil of a very high quality that was made for this specific purpose Anyway, thanks for watching. My camera tells me that I have to stop. It's 15 minutes, etc. etc. Ben over some what?